Hi everyone, do you remember last August when it was so hot, hot and humid and I was doing a lot of videos out on the deck and I had this orange creamsicle wine that had sparkles in it and it came from reclaimed vines in Pennsylvania. Well, anyway, I had gotten some other bottles at the time and they've been in my wine cooler and or yeah, I guess that's what you call it, a wine cooler. And I forgot all about them. But, and I've been having all the, the red wines lately and getting into kind of like sipping wines and things like that this winter. But I know summer's coming. And I know I'm going to want to have some sweet, summery, light wines. So I went in to see what I had so I could just decide what I should start stocking up on again. And I came across this one. And so I thought I would try it tonight. So again, it's from Reclaimed Vines. I'm going to hold it up there so you can see the name. Charlotte's Hot Little Bummy. So it's a sweet Chardonnay wine with a Japanese chili pepper in it. So anyway, I hope that stick around and join me. Let's see if I can drink this without making funny faces and if it's as good as I think it is or if I should just put it down the drain. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. We're going to have another little episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries. So you know how I've been drinking the red wines and really enjoying them from my Wink subscription and just getting some other wines and just enjoying just the, the red wines, the, the dryness and just the be able to just kind of sit and, you know, sit maybe this much wine at night or whatever and just, you know, that's got health benefits and it's just relaxing and it's cold and so you just want to sip on things. But, you know, summer's coming and I cannot wait to be back outside sitting outside on my deck after work, maybe having a little campfire chatting with you guys, either having a nice iced coffee or a glass of wine. So last summer, I had got this wine from Reclaimed Vines in Pennsylvania. It's a small winery, like a family owned winery. And I forgot how many bottles I have. I bought from them, but the one that I was most interested in was the creamsicle wine. And so it was like the orange creamsicle flavor and it had like silver sparklies and things in the wine. So it kind of just kind of glowed at night outside by the fire. And it was really, really good that first night that I had it and it was so hot and so humid and it would just tasted amazing. And then the next night, I think I sat out on the deck and I had another glass. And I think on the third or fourth night when I had a little bit more, I was inside the house. By then the humidity was gone and it just did not taste the same anymore. And then a couple of days later, out on the deck in the hot and humid weather and it was good again. So I don't know if that just has something to do with maybe the frame, frame of mind that you're in or if weather does have a way of flavoring what you're drinking but I, I did enjoy it. So I always meant to go back and drink some more of these wines and to know if I wanted to put in another order or not, and I never did. So today I was thinking, you know, cause I just kind of taken advantage of my Mardi Gras thing behind me. So I did a few videos today, as you can tell I'm starting to lose my voice, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing videos next week. So I think that'll give me time to rest again. But anyway, I wanted to try one. So I grabbed this one and I already got this started so I could show you how easy it is to use this. Again, it's Reclaimed Vines. It's a small winery. It just have a focuses in Pennsylvania. And that's the name of it. It's a sweet white wine with hot peppers. And it's just really fun. They name some of the wines after family members and things like that. And I, I don't know. So I, I had that orange dream school one. I've got some other ones. Daniel, I think that's a honey wine. I think I've got a peach and vanilla one that's in there still that I want to try. So anyway, I got this started because, you know, Nancy loves her power tools as much as I love my bling. So let's finish pulling, pulling this out. And this, this one just recharges, but I know they have battery operated ones as one, 
as well makes it so so easy and you know I get the one from the purple toad winery and there's a strawberry jalapeno one that I just love so I yeah I don't know if this one's going to be as good but I cannot wait to try it I even made a little side dish to have with it tonight so I've got some crispy fried chicken like an, in a tapira type of um, covering coating and then a ginger soy sauce to go with it so put a little bit in my glass and again I've got one of my robin with a white wine glass I didn't have one in a green dress but she's in her blue dress and she's got some Swarovski crystals on so first we'll take a sniff I can smell the pepper it smells hot but I smell sweet wine too you know like sweet grape juice and honey and yeah I can't wait so cheers everybody happy Mardi Gras I'm going to need a little bit of water. This, my friends, is hot. If you like sweet and hot, this is even hotter than the uh, strawberry jalapeno one. But I think with food, I mean, I don't think it's something you want to want to drink a whole glass of unless you've got the fire department on a standby. But this is really good. It's, it's like hot like cinnamon, too, at the same time. Mmm, that is good. That, my friends, that good, is good. So again, I just made a little bit of chicken here. It's got like a tempura kind of coating on it. And then a garlicky kind of ginger soy sauce. So I think this might be, I don't know, I'm hoping it's not too hot for it. Mm. So good. Mmm. I'm going to take that back. I think I'm going to drink this whole glass. I don't even need the fire department. So, so good. So I'll leave some information below for Reclaimed Vines. Again, they're in Pennsylvania. The small family owned business. Um, so this one, the Harlots, Charlotte's, I don't know why I'm calling her Harlot, but Charlotte's Hot Bummy, the Sweet Chardonnay with the Japanese Chili, when I bought this last year, it was $16 a bottle. I know that I got discounts. I forgot how many bottles I got. I think I bought six. So I got a dollar off or something like that. But I know I bought um, the cream coat, which was really good. When it was just a regular day, it just wasn't as good. When it was hot, hot and humid, it was perfect. They also have like a birthday wine. It's a sweet wine with cake flavoring and edible glitter. Um, they've got one fabulous sweet white wine with cotton candy flavoring. Um, this one's probably good, but it's probably gonna be strong because it's a blueberry and mousse dessert wine. So it's blueberry wine, but it's mixed with brandy. So it's gonna be a strong one. So not really on the sweet side, but that should be good. Yes, I think I need to drink more wines. I think I need to go back to work and take some wines with me so that I can finish them and order some some more. But I am interested to do like um, a pineapple wine. Maybe get a couple of bottles of that and just kind of sample which one I like better. I know I loved my peach wine that I got last year from um, one of our vendors and that works for Mazak in uh, Kentucky when he brought it out. I don't know if he's going to come back again this summer, but I hope he does. And he does it as a hobby. He won some awards, some local awards in Kentucky, and he ended some national contest and won. But he doesn't do it as a business yet, so I'm hoping he does it so I can buy from him because that was really, really good. But um, yeah, so but I want to get on a hunt for some peach wine, and I never thought I would like peach wine till I had his. And so I think that's going to be a good wine to have this summer too. So I'm looking forward to finding the perfect peach wine. Again, um, yeah, so I'm going to sit down, have my chicken, have a little bit of this hot wine. It's so good. If you like sweet and hot, and it is hot, it's like cinnamon hot and chili hot. It's really good. I'm going to enjoy drinking this as much as I enjoy talking to you guys. And yeah, your comments, of course, are always welcome. I'd love to hear your suggestions. 
I'm probably not going to be doing as many wine diaries since I'm doing the wink unless I take a break from that because I'm doing like a bottle a week on that and then trying to mix it together. And, you know, I'm just by myself unless I go back to work and start drinking with everybody. Yeah, I might, I might have to. Do you think that the alcohol will kill the germs of the people that I work with? I'm not so sure. But anyway, thanks again for stopping in. I just enjoy talking to you guys so much. As you can tell, I'm starting to ramble. Um, I hope you guys go out, have a great week or weekend, because I'll probably post this on a Friday, next Friday. And um, have a great weekend. Um, you guys know I love you guys. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Be kind to each other. Love you guys. Bye-bye.